Mudder Nation, Coach here. Now, we go through a million different ways to get fit and train for the Tough Mudder. Today, I thought we'd ride some spirit animals. My name's Steve Roth. I own Seahorse Equestrian Tours. I take people riding on the beach in the Redwoods and all over Central California, and I don't do nose to tail rides. So you can come down here, look you up on the internet, and, and go for an adventure. You sure can. You can, uh, you can come out anytime. Uh, I'm all over the internet. <laughs> Steve's all over the internet. Check him out. We're going to go for a trail ride. No nose to tail. Let's do this. How long have you been a horseman? All my life. All your life? How'd you get into it? My father, when he got out of the military, and uh, he was a lifer in the military after Vietnam, he wanted to be a cowboy. You know, a lot of, a lot of soldiers do that when they come back from a war. They, they just want to get away, and I think that's what he did. But So I started from two years old. As soon as your butt hits the saddle, you're building a relationship. If you ride horses once in a while, well, you'll, you'll never know the secret. If you ride them all the time, eventually you'll understand that there's no relationship quite like that with a horse. When you're on a horse, ultimately what you want is, is you want to be one. Um, it's your teammate. Well, yeah, it's a language built in silence. When you're running on a horse down the beach like we just were at a dead run, you have to count on that horse not falling it down, and it has to count on you not leaving it, in, leading it into deep sand or something that's going to trip on. So, right. it's, a, so it's, a, it's a team effort. It's not, it's not something that you just, oh, I'm going to make the horse do this. True horsemanship is the horse wants to do it. We're just riding the horses. They're doing all the work. It's not 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 too tough on me. Oh no, I wouldn't say that. Not if you ride like I do. <laughs> so they, are we getting a good workout? Oh you think? yeah, yeah. Believe me, if you run down the beach and you're on a fast horse, you'll be breathing hard when you get to the other end. Yeah, Either that or you'll be on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea the direct correlation between you know teamwork and and camaraderie with your mm -hmm. horse. And, oh yeah, and that that is so much what the Tough Mudder is actually all about. So to come here looking for fitness, but then come out with like a, a much broader understanding of these mm -hmm. awesome animals is great. My spirit animal likes snacks. Oh, yeah. My whole goal is to weave horses back into the fabric of our lives again so that they don't disappear. We have to teach our children how to ride horses because it's a dying art and, and nobody knows how to do it anymore and people like me are disappearing. And if we don't teach our kids how to do it, then who's gonna be there to look after the horse? We just had an awesome time learning about these amazing animals, riding these amazing animals, getting fit in a whole new way for me. Steve, thanks for sharing your passion. You're very welcome. I uh, might want to take a jacuzzi tonight because you're using muscles you never <laughs> did before. <laughs> and muscles I didn't even realize I had. You'll know it tomorrow. I, <laughs> I totally appreciate it. We had a blast. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We'll see you next Thursday. Mudder Nation, you just got coachified.